Ladies and gentlemen, this is a creamy pasta with salmon. Oh yeah, with some beautiful extra fresh ingredients. Your weeknight meals are gonna taste more delicious. Let's take the salmon pasta to the next level. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook delicious Italian recipes. This is pasta with salmon. I use beautiful lemons, mascarpone cheese and much more. This is my version of pasta al salmone. I haven't seen anyone doing this. It's my own version and make it go viral on TikTok. Come on. <laughs> How do we make pasta al salmone? Well, these are the ingredients. I use penne rigate, I just like it, but you can use any other short pasta. And I'm using 300 grams, it's for the two of us, and I'm very generous with the portions. Then we need 300 grams of salmon without the skin, and then you cut it into cubes, okay? So 300 grams of pasta, 300 grams of salmon. We're gonna use two or three tablespoons of mascarpone, one garlic clove, capers, they must be in sea salt. Don't use capers from vinegar. If you can't find capers in sea salt, don't use them. Extra virgin olive oil, parsley, and here I have a beautiful Sicilian lemon, the biggest lemon I've ever seen. The seeds came from Sicily 50 years ago. This lemon is from Filippo's garden, okay? Filippo is my friend, the master of tomato sauce. Then we need some chili. You can use fresh chili, or you can use half teaspoon of dry chili, and rock salt for the boiling water. We start by adding three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a nice pan. What I like to do now is to crush a clove of garlic in my extra virgin olive oil. Just put it in there. Beautiful and wait about 20 seconds before we add the salmon on a medium low heat okay we want to be very very gentle with the salmon we do not want to cook it too fast gently this beautiful salmon deserves to be cooked so here we have it the garlic and the salmon need to make love together okay come on salmon bring the flavors out and the flavors are coming out oh yeah Oh yeah, at this point I'm going to add the chili, so it cooks with the garlic. I'm going to add the capers, so we cook them together. And just a, a sprinkle of parsley, okay? Just put in there, and let's cook this beautiful salmon. You will see that salmon will cook in no time, okay? I'm looking at cooking the salmon between five to seven minutes. Okay, so what we can do now, in the meantime, we can cook the pasta. The beautiful flavors from the salmon, oh, just incredible. Make sure you use top quality salmon, please. I just love the flavors. Now, once I add the lemon juice, the flavors will go everywhere. And everyone on your street will come and knock at your door. Where is my plate of pasta? So this is the inside of the lemon, huge lemon, but this is full of juice and sweetness. Now let's put the lemon inside, squeeze the lemon, because the lemon will give so many beautiful flavors to our sauce. The sauce will be ready in a, in a few minutes, so what we need to do, we need to boil the pasta. So we put a tablespoon of rock salt into the wo boiling water, and then we're going to add a beautiful penne pasta. And this pasta will take 11 minutes to cook. Always read the cooking instruction on the packet. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, guys, what I like to do now, see our salmon is cooked. You don't want to overcook it, right? You want the salmon to be nice and moist. But what I like to do is I get a fork and I wanna break the small pieces. Just wanna break some of them so it will mix very well with the pasta, okay? Not all of them, just the small ones. Let's say the ones that don't look as good, okay? But if we break them, so we create a kind of a ragu with salmon. Look how quick it is for the salmon to cook. So quick. See, now I've got enough, enough broken pieces, enough ragu, and I have enough pieces here to decorate my dish. Okay, so now stir, stir very well. Yum, 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 yum. The smell keeps getting stronger and stronger. Now we can smell the capers coming out. The lemon, the salmon, the chili. They are making love together. It's all about making love, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to add the pasta in there. Come on, let's do it. We have two minutes until the pasta is ready. And what we do now is we are going to add a lot of lemon zest to a beautiful salmon pasta. Oh, beautiful smell, beautiful, beautiful smell. This Sicilian lemon that grow in Australia. Can you believe these seeds came to Australia 50 years ago? Now he's gonna squeeze all the juice that is left in his massive lemon. All the juice is in there. Quick stir, and let's put the pasta inside. All right, guys, the pasta is ready. Here it is, look how beautiful this is. What we do now, we get a nice, probably half mug here of water, pasta water full of starch, and we're gonna put it in the sauce, okay? This is very important. It's gonna help us to combine the ingredients together. And now we're gonna put the pasta in the pan. I like to get my pasta out just with the colander, I go in there, the colander, and I put it straight in the sauce. And straight in the sauce. You always want to have your sauce ready for the pasta, okay? Do not sit the pasta in the colander because it will dry up and you lose all the benefits. Guys, it's very important now. We're gonna put the cream. The cream cheese I chose is the mascarpone, okay? Two generous spoon or even three of mascarpone cheese. And then we toss, or you can actually just use a spoon to help you. And we're gonna get a beautiful creamy salmon pasta. This is how you do it. You can use Philadelphia cheese if you like. I'm a big fan of mascarpone. So that's what I use. A nice generous amount of parsley, yeah. And now it's time for us to toss. Come on guys, toss. When you toss it, it's actually better for the cream. You make it creamy by doing this. It's just a, a method, a technique that will help you to get a nice creamy pasta. And look how creamy this is. Look how creamy this is. Of course, the pasta water at the bottom helped because it's full of starch. Of course, the cream helps to make it creamy, you know, that beautiful cheese. And the salmon, oh my God, making love with the beautiful penne rigate. Come on, let's serve this and let's make love with the pasta. Guys, look how beautiful this is, huh? Look how creamy, look how beautiful. All right, let's serve a salmon pasta. And then we're gonna put beautiful pieces of salmon to the top. Yeah, look at that. It's like a salmon ragu. Oh my God, the flavors of the lemons are really coming out now. Wow, 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 wow. 
salmons, lemon, capers. Who's gonna be the winner? Let's place the salmon right on top. And a beautiful piece of salmon. The final touch will be a little bit of parsley. And then we serve it. Come on, guys. Time to eat pasta al salmone by Vincenzo's plate. Look guys, it is a nice large portion. Look at the beautiful pasta, cooked to perfection. Creamy enough, creamy enough. Let's make sure you get a piece of salmon and let's try it. Mmm, mmm. Beautiful al dente pasta. Salmon melts in my mouth. The flavors of lemon, making love with mascarpone, is so special. So, so special. Mmm. Mmm, fantastic. Everything has been cooked to perfection and made in 11 minutes. Mmm, mamma mia, mamma mia, buonissimo. Fantastic, fantastic. What are you guys waiting for? Huh? Come on, let's make this together. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I like the kick of chili, not too much, just enough. I'm really loving the chili kick in this pasta. It's such a beautiful, delicate pasta. Oh. Mm. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe. Haha, <laughs> pasta al salmone. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate.